Well, hello everybody, and welcome uh, back to my next video. Um, today, um, we're going to look at the joystick and how we uh, read the data in the uh, in the shell window of the uh, of Sony. Um, joysticks are, are very similar to the potentiometer uh, and the way they work, but the joystick has an x-axis the y axis but it also has a z axis when you press down the top of the joystick so let's just have a quick look at this we're going to uh, be using uh, the joystick that's on the free node projects board uh, for the raspberry pi um, I've said loads of times before it's much easier than setting up a breadboard uh, saves all the cabling but if you want to use a breadboard um, with the Raspberry Pi go ahead go ahead you can still do these um, still do these projects uh, you'll need to get the circuits of the internet and put them together so let's uh, move across and let's uh, open Tony and do our uh, normal stuff. So file open. And we open our template. Yeah, okay, that. All right. Now you can uh, you can do a file save as. Let me just come down to where I need to be. Make sure I've got the correct window. Right. So. We go file save as I'm just going to call mine joy yeah joy dot py remember remember I like to have capitals don't forget the extension the dot py okay so this is uh, joy dot py okay so Let's have a look at our code. We'll go through. We got the import, the GPI opens. We all know that command. We import time. And from ADC device, yeah, import star. All right. We've done them commands before. Now, we've got to now do our pins. Uh, what we're going to call it. Um, the main, uh, pin we're going to call it. We we'll call it. We we'll do as capital underscore um, pin equals, and we're going to put it on twenty six. All right, we're going to put it on pin twenty six. Then we want ADC equals. ADC device and it's our magic number yeah zero times 48 if you uh, don't know uh, your ADC device number if you go back to one of the other videos I forget what one it was it shows you how you read your ADC device what number it's on we're on 48. Right. Let's go to our def setup. Go to our global. Let me just uh, take that out. And remember, it's global ADC. I want to try and get as much correct before we start. Then we've got the if. Right. And remember, it's the ADC detect. dot detect the oh, detect i capital two c capital right and then it's our magic number again zero times 48 remember it's the two brackets to turn both brackets off so we're turning 
I2C. Ah, I can see. Hey, look, I'm spotting the mistakes early. Yeah. I don't know if you notice. I'll just show you. I'll take that um, brackets on off. Notice how it all goes dark? That's showing you straight away that there's a mistake. All right. And then I'll put the brackets back on. All right. So that's our ADC detect and its colons. Auto indent. And ADC equals uh, ADS. 7830 and that's activating our um, our uh, chip yeah and again 0 times 48 brackets off right <coughs> what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to Right click, I'm going to cut that, okay, because we need that somewhere else. It's a bit early on. Then we got our else statement. Yeah, the print. Right. And we know why we uh, got that in our uh, template. Right. Then we go uh, set mode, the board, control V some reason that hasn't gone back that needs to be where the sorry where the uh, under the else statement yeah now what do you think we have to do next we have to um, set our Z pin yeah so it's a GPIO setup oh Mm, yeah, GPIO dot setup <clears throat> brackets is Z underscore pin comma and it's GPIO and it's dot. Now remember it's capitals in underscore sorry dot in capitals. Just oh, I'm doing this twi twice. Hang on, hang on, let's get getting a bit confused. Dot in, comma, GPIO, dot PUD underscore up brackets off. Yeah, Z pin. But uh, comma GPIO dot in comma GPIO dot PUD capitals pull up down underscore up yeah sets the Z, Z, uh, the Z pin to pull up mode all right so let's go to our while loop We now got to do our read uh, read values. All right. So V A L underscore, yeah. Z capital equals G P I O dot input. Okay, because it's an input when we press it down. Yeah. Brackets Z underscore pin brackets off. Right, so that's our Z vowel. Now we do our vowel underscore Y capital, and that's equal to ADC dot analog read capital R on the read. Okay and that's five All right that's five now we've got to do our x equals 
there's another ADC sorry dot analog read brackets and we're putting that on six right so far so good and everything looks okay let me come down now we do our uh, just make sure it's on the same indent yep we do our print brackets on quotes <laughs> I remembered <laughs> value underscore X okay colons remember it's the percent D comma backslash I'm going to have to copy this control C control V right I wish I knew where the backslash were, was on here I really do uh, anyway so where was I up to so value at da -da -da, backslash T V is T V L U E underscore Y colons right percent D comma backslash right and then it's a T value Let me just make sure I've got that. I just that could be wrong, but I'm going to leave it as it is because that's what's in the code. All right. So we've got the uh, t value. Uh, where are we up to? Y percent d t value underscore z colons percent d quotes all right so that's turned off the quotes and then remember we do and the t will not be sorry about that that was my uh Alexa going off sorry about that okay brackets on <laughs> <laughs> Val underscore X comma <laughs> Val underscore Y comma and Val underscore Z a brackets off. All right, and another brackets off. That looks all right to me. I'm sure that's supposed to be T value. It, it could be a typo. T value. Yeah, I'm going to put a take a chance airlines and put that there. Oh yeah, let take a chance airlines just quickly. Going off the subject, when I was in uh, Belize with the army, they used to have. Uh, we were right next to the airport. And they had a, uh, an airline there called TAC Airlines, and they were rickety old planes. And some bad guys used to, when they had a bit of leave, used to go up to Mexico, and they used to say, and we named it, we're going to take a, a take a chance airlines up to Mexico. So that's where take a chance airlines comes from. Right. Okay. So in here, time dot sleep. And it's a bracket zero dot zero one bracket off. Yeah. And now let's come to uh, our destroy. 
Remember, we have to clear the ADC. ADC.close. Brackets on, brackets off. Right. Let's do a quick save. There we go. This button here, as you can see, highlights is save. So you don't have to go file save. So we just go save. Right. And that saves it. Saves the program. Right. Just check it. That looks okay to me. Shall we run it? Let's see what happens. And there we go. And there we go. Right. Let's just come. I'm going to move the joystick and. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go to the left. As you can see, let me just put my pointer on it. I'm going to go to the left. A Y axis goes to a 252. If I go to the right, it goes down to zero. Okay. I'm going to pull the joystick back and we go to zero. Push it forward and we go to 255. Now let's test the Z button. There you go. Push it. Zero. Let it go. One. Let me just uh, put view so you can see what I'm doing. Right. So it's all working. Then when I press it. Zero. One. Right. Okay. So that's how we configure uh, the Raspberry Pi to read the values of a joystick so uh getting used to the coding now so we're uh, moving a little bit faster um hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget thumbs up like yeah Con uh, don't forget to subscribe and of course comment Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Excuse me. Bye-bye.